Welcome, curious minds, to a journey through the ancient sands of Mesopotamia, where the cradle of civilization gave birth not only to towering ziggurats and intricate cuneiform script, but also to a realm teeming with mythical wonders. In this video, we will dive into mythical creatures in Mesopotamian mythology. So let the journey begin. 1. The Enuma, Elish, and Creation Myths at the heart of Mesopotamian mythology lies the Enuma Elish, the Babylonian creation epic. This narrative describes the emergence of the universe, the establishment of divine order, and the roles of various gods and goddesses in shaping existence. Tiamat, the primordial goddess of salt water, and Apsu, the god of fresh water, play central roles in the Enuma Elish, and their union gives birth to a pantheon of deities. The dynamics of these divine relationships set the stage for the creation of mythical creatures as manifestations of cosmic forces. 2. Anzu Imdugud Anzu, also known as Imdugud, is a mythical creature with the combined features of an eagle and a lion. In some depictions, Anzu has a human face. This creature is associated with the divine storm bird and is often considered a symbol of the god's authority over the natural elements. Anzu appears in various myths, including the theft of the Tablets of Destiny, where it serves as a guardian obstructing the hero's path. 3. Lamassu Lamassu is a protective deity depicted as a composite creature with the body of a bull or lion, wings of an eagle and a human head. These colossal statues were often placed at entrances to palaces and temples to ward off evil spirits. Lamassu embodied the protective aspects of divine forces and served as a symbol of power and authority. 4. Mushusu The Mushusu is a dragon-like creature often associated with the god Marduk. It has a serpent's body, a scorpion's tail, and sometimes the forelegs of a lion. The Mushusu represents chaos and is linked to Tiamat, the primordial goddess defeated by Marduk in the Enuma Elish. Its presence underscores the ongoing struggle between order and chaos in Mesopotamian mythology. 5. Ugalu Ugalu is a lion-headed demon often associated with the god Nergal who presides over the underworld. This creature is depicted with the body of a lion and the wings of a bird, emphasizing its fearsome and protective attributes. Ugalu is sometimes considered a guardian spirit, particularly in contexts related to the afterlife. 6. Humbaba, Huwawa Humbaba, also known as Huwawa, is a monstrous guardian of the cedar forest in the Epic of Gilgamesh. This creature has a terrifying visage, with features that vary in different accounts. Humbaba's role in the epic highlights themes of heroism, bravery, and the quest for immortality, as Gilgamesh and Enkidu face this formidable opponent on their journey. 7. Kusariku, Bullman The Kusariku, often referred to as the Bullman, is a mythical creature with the body of a human and the head of a bull. This hybrid being is associated with protective deities and is sometimes depicted as a guardian figure. The Kusariku embodies the duality of nature, blending elements of both the human and animal realms. 8. Lilithu, Lilith. Lilithu, or Lilith, is a female demon associated with storms, wind, and chaos. In Mesopotamian myth, Lilithu is often depicted as a seductress or succubus, causing harm to men and newborns. Over time, the concept of Lilith evolved in various cultures, including ancient Jewish mythology, where she became a symbol of rebellion. 9. Asaku Asaku is a demon or malevolent spirit in Mesopotamian mythology. These creatures are often considered agents of chaos and disorder, causing harm to both humans and gods. Asaku is associated with illness, misfortune, and the disruptions of divine order. Rituals and spells were employed to ward off these malevolent beings. 10. Girtab Lulu 
The Gurtablulu is a mythical creature with the body of a lion and the wings of a bird. It is often depicted as a guardian figure, associated with divine justice and the enforcement of cosmic order. In some contexts, the Gurtablulu serves as an emissary of the god Shamash, the Mesopotamian sun, god and deity of justice. 11. Kululu the Kululu is a dragon-like creature associated with various protective deities. It has the hind legs of an eagle, the wings of a bird, and the head of a dragon or serpent. Kululu is often depicted as a symbol of divine authority, particularly in contexts related to the gods' protective roles in the celestial and earthly realms. 12. Musmahu the Muzmahu is a demonic creature associated with chaos and destruction. In some myths, these beings are unleashed upon the world as a form of divine punishment. Musmahu is often depicted as a terrifying monster with sharp claws and a fearsome countenance, emphasizing its role in bringing about disorder. 13. Surush The Surush, also known as the Mushushu, is a dragon-like creature associated with the god Marduk. It has the body of a snake or dragon, the forelegs of a lion, hind legs of an eagle and a scorpion's tail. The Sirush is often depicted as a symbol of Marduk's authority and power, and it appears on the famous Ishtar Gate of Babylon. 14. Urmalulu The Urmalulu is a creature that combines the features of a lion and a dragon. Often depicted as a protective deity, it is associated with the goddess Ishtar. The Urmahlulu symbolizes the dual aspects of Ishtar's nature, representing both her nurturing and destructive qualities. 15. Ushumgalu The Ushumgalu, also known as the Great Dragon, is a mythical serpent associated with the god Ningish Zita. This creature is often portrayed coiled around a staff emphasizing its connection to fertility, healing, and the underworld. Ningish Zita, as a god of vegetation and the afterlife, utilized the Ushumgalu as a symbol of regeneration. 16. Siraz The Siraz is a dragon-like monster in Mesopotamian mythology. This creature is often associated with the goddess of war and love, Inanna, the Siraz is sometimes described as a horned serpent and is considered a symbol of chaos and destruction, highlighting the dual nature of Inanna as a powerful and sometimes capricious deity. 17. Basmu The Basmu is a serpent dragon creature associated with the god Marduk. It is often depicted as having the head of a snake and serves as a symbol of Marduk's authority and power over chaos. The Basmu appears in various myths, highlighting the ongoing struggle between cosmic order and primordial forces. 18. Ugalu, Great Lion Another manifestation of the Ugalu. The Great Lion is a mythical creature with the body of a lion, the wings of an eagle, and a human face. It is often depicted as a guardian figure, symbolizing the protective aspects of divine forces. The Great Lion embodies strength, courage, and the majestic qualities associated with both lions and eagles. 19. Bull of Heaven The Bull of Heaven is a mythical creature featured prominently in the Epic of Gilgamesh. Sent by the goddess Ishtar to punish Gilgamesh for rejecting her advances, the Bull of Heaven wreaks havoc on the earth. Its depiction underscores the consequences of defying divine will and serves as a symbol of divine retribution. 20. Irkala, Gala. Irkala, also known as Gala, refers to the spirits of the dead in Mesopotamian mythology. While not a single creature, the Gala are often depicted as dark, shadowy beings associated with the underworld. They play a role in various myths and rituals related to death and the afterlife, highlighting the Mesopotamian beliefs about the journey to the underworld. 21. Kur Kur is a mythical dragon and serpent often associated with the underworld. It is sometimes considered a cosmic mountain or abyss, 
and is ruled by the goddess Ereshkigal. Kur serves as a symbol of the boundary between the living and the dead, and its association with the underworld underscores its significance in the cycle of life and death. 22. Pasuzu Pasuzu is a demonic deity often depicted as a winged creature with the body of a man, the head of a lion or dog, and features such as eagle talons and a scorpion tail. Despite its menacing appearance, Pazuzu is considered a protective deity, particularly against evil spirits and demons. Amulets featuring Pazuzu were believed to ward off malevolent forces. 23. Namtar Namtar is a god or demon associated with death and fate in Mesopotamian mythology. While not a physical creature, Namtar plays a significant role in the pantheon as the herald of Ereshkigal, the queen of the underworld. Namtar is often depicted with a tablet or stylus, symbolizing the recording of human destinies. 24. Ghoul, Giddim. The ghoul, or Giddim, is a malevolent spirit or demon in Mesopotamian belief. Ghouls were associated with the spirits of the deceased who did not receive proper burial rites. These restless spirits were believed to roam the earth, causing harm to the living. Rituals and offerings were conducted to appease these spirits and prevent malevolent consequences. 25. Ningizida. Ningizida is a serpent deity associated with fertility, healing, and magic. Often depicted as a serpent with wings or a dragon with two heads, Ningizida is a complex figure with connections to both the earthly and divine realms. The serpent's shedding of its skin is symbolic of regeneration and renewal, linking Ningizida to themes of life, death, and rebirth. 26. Nergal, Era, and Era Nergal, a god associated with war and the underworld, is sometimes depicted as a fearsome deity involved in destructive forces. Under the names Era and Era, Nergal takes on a more aggressive and warlike aspect. In some traditions, Era is portrayed as a god of plague and pestilence, unleashing diseases upon humanity as a form of divine retribution. 27. Rabisu The Rabisu is a demon or evil spirit in Mesopotamian mythology. Often depicted with a demonic face and talons, the Rabisu was believed to lurk in dark corners and shadows, causing harm to those who encountered it. Protective amulets were used to ward off the Rabizu, highlighting the Mesopotamians' belief in the need for spiritual protection. 28. Seven-Headed Serpent, Labu The seven-headed serpent, or Labu, is a mythical creature mentioned in various Mesopotamian texts. It is often associated with chaos and destruction. The idea of a multi-headed serpent represents a formidable and chaotic force that challenges divine order. Similar motifs appear in other mythologies, symbolizing the triumph of gods over chaotic entities. 29. Lahmu and Lahamu Lahmu and Lahamu are primordial deities mentioned in some creation myths. Lahmu is often associated with the muddy silt of the primordial sea, while Lahamu is linked to the concept of chaos. These deities, along with Anshar and Kishar, are part of the early generations of divine beings in Mesopotamian cosmogony. 30. Sarpa The Sarpa is a serpent-like dragon associated with the goddess Ninhursag. In some texts, the Sarpa is depicted as a guardian of the sacred mountains and is connected to the fertility of the land. Ninhursag, as a mother goddess, is often linked to the nurturing aspects of nature, and the Sarpa serves as a symbol of her protective influence. 31. Edimu The Edimu are malevolent spirits or ghosts in Mesopotamian belief. These spirits are often associated with individuals who died violent or unjust deaths and were denied proper burial rites. The Edimu were believed to roam the earth, seeking revenge or causing harm to the living. Rituals and offerings were conducted to appease these restless spirits. 32. Amhuluk The Amhuluk is a mythical creature associated with the goddess Ninurta, 
While the details about the Am Huluk are not as well documented as some other beings, it is often mentioned in connection with Ninurta's exploits and his role as a warrior god. The Am Huluk may have served as a symbolic representation of the chaos and challenges that Ninurta faced. 34. Dumuzid, Tammuz. Dumuzid, also known as Tammuz, is a god associated with fertility and vegetation. While not a creature per se, Dumuzid's mythology involves themes of death and rebirth. The annual mourning for Dumuzid, during which he descends to the underworld, reflects the cyclical nature of life, death, and resurrection in Mesopotamian belief. 35. Karakasa The Karakasa is a demon or spirit mentioned in certain incantations and rituals. While details about the Karakasa are not extensively documented, it is associated with malevolent forces and may have been invoked in protective or apotropaic rituals to ward off evil influences. 36. Ganzira Ganzira is a female demon associated with Lamashtu, a fearsome goddess known for her malevolent nature. Sanzira is often depicted as a lion-headed, bird-footed creature with the ability to cause disease, particularly among pregnant women and newborns. Protective amulets and rituals were employed to ward off the influence of Ganzira and Lamashtu. 37. Uridimu The Uridimu is a mythical creature mentioned in conjunction with the hero Gilgamesh. It is depicted as a wild bull with large horns, embodying the untamed forces of nature. In the Epic of Gilgamesh, the hero faces the Uridimu as part of his adventures, symbolizing his confrontation with the primal forces that challenge civilization. 38. Ziuzu Bird The Ziuzu Bird is a mythical avian creature associated with the god Ningirsu. It is sometimes portrayed as a powerful bird of prey or a hawk and is considered a symbol of divine protection. The Ziyuzu bird's association with Ningirsu underscores its role as a guardian and protector in the divine hierarchy. 39. Asnan Asnan is a goddess associated with grain and agriculture. While not a mythical creature in the traditional sense, Asnan is essential in the Mesopotamian pantheon as a symbol of fertility and sustenance. Offerings and rituals dedicated to Asnan were crucial for ensuring bountiful harvests and the well-being of the community. 40. Igigi and Anunnaki While not specific creatures, the Igigi and Anunnaki are divine beings in Mesopotamian mythology. The Igigi are often associated with the heavenly realm, while the Anunnaki are associated with the earthly realm. These gods played significant roles in the creation and maintenance of the cosmos, embodying different aspects of the divine order. 41. Shedu The Shedu is a protective deity often depicted as a winged bull or lion with a human head. These guardian figures were placed at entrances to temples and palaces to ward off evil spirits. The Shedu represents the divine forces that safeguard sacred spaces and symbolizes the protective nature of the gods. 42. Seven Sages, Apkalu. The Seven Sages, also known as Apkalu, are semi-divine beings often depicted as human figures with the characteristics of fish. They were believed to possess great wisdom and were associated with cultural and agricultural advancements. The Apkalu played a role in Mesopotamian myths related to the creation of humanity and the transmission of knowledge. 43. Labartu Labartu is a female demon associated with infertility, disease, and harm to newborns. Often depicted with the head of a lioness, Labartu was considered a malevolent force that brought misfortune to families. Protective rituals and amulets were employed to safeguard against the influence of Labartu. 44. Alu The Alu is a demonic being associated with nightmares and sleep disturbances. It is often described as a malevolent spirit that brings harm to individuals during the night. The Alu was believed to cause illness and mental distress and various rituals were performed to ward off its influence.
45. Gigim. The Gigim are divine beings mentioned in Mesopotamian texts, often associated with the hierarchy of the gods. While specific details about the Gijim are not extensively documented, they are considered part of the divine assembly, playing roles in the governance of the cosmos. 46. Utu. Utu is a goddess associated with weaving and vegetation. While not a mythical creature, Utu is an essential figure in the divine pantheon, embodying aspects of fertility and the cyclical nature of growth and harvest. Offerings and rituals dedicated to Utu were crucial for ensuring agricultural abundance. As we end up this video, if you have enjoyed it, give it a like and a comment, even don't forget to subscribe for more, thank you. Mesopotamian mythology's pantheon of mythical creatures adds depth and complexity to the narratives that have fascinated scholars and enthusiasts for centuries. These beings, whether benevolent or malevolent, served as symbolic representations of cosmic forces, aspects of nature, and the eternal struggle between order and chaos. From the majestic Lamassu guarding entrances to the fearsome Anzu obstructing heroes, these creatures played essential roles in shaping the cultural and religious landscape of ancient Mesopotamia. As we continue to explore and interpret the remnants of this venerable mythology, the legacy of these mythical beings endures, offering insights into the ancient Mesopotamians' understanding of the world and their place within it. This is episode one of Mesopotamian Mythical Creatures. In the next episode, we shall again talk about Mesopotamian mythical creatures and gods of Mesopotamian mythology. Don't miss episode two. See you again.